Hi there, this is uh, Sriyan Dasari. So in this lesson, we are going to uh, look into the various uh, I/O operations or input-output operations uh, to perform on uh, strings. Okay. So let me launch the IDE. So I have created a project under the name uh, String Three dot C. String Three. Okay. Which contains the C file already. Okay. So so we can. Uh, perform input and output operations as we do with integers and other num uh, other kinds of data so we can also uh, take the input uh, from the keyboard uh, string input from the keyboard okay so until now in the previous lessons we have just assigned a value uh, to a string here okay so first let us take a string to demonstrate how to perform uh, various i/o operations so let's name the string as name okay so let us make it as 20 and just assign some value here. So I am writing my name. Okay. So uh, in the same way, uh, this is the basic string uh, which is of length uh, uh, 20. We have just assigned some value here. So in the same way, you can have uh, an email also. Okay. So for example, if you build a program, so you need, so you are taking a collecting data from the user such as name, email, followed by address, okay. So all these things are very uh, basic things uh, when you are collecting it from some data from the user, uh, the program or the program which contains some fields like this, okay. So name, we have just initialized the name with some value here, okay, or some string data. So in order to retrieve the uh, other data from the user, so you can use a, a scan of statement, okay. So as we have did with other data types, let us have a small message here, enter the email ID. Okay, so scanf percentage, yes, as we have studied that the format specifier of a, a string a constant is percentage, yes, here. So we need not use ampersand, okay, here, okay, while we are uh, dealing with strings, the ampersand address operator is not uh, necessary, actually, okay. So directly can take email here okay so in the same way so you can have uh, address also okay so enter the address scan of percentage yes okay and address Okay, so now here, uh, so let us just print the data. So whatever you have taken, uh, let us just print them. The name is equal to percentage, yes. Okay, name, so in the same way. So we have taken another uh, email also. The email is equal to percentage, yes. Email, okay. So in the same way, so address, okay. The address is equal to percentage, yes. Address, okay. So now just we have seven on the program here. So immediately it asks, asks for uh, email ID. So let us give some uh, stupid email ID here, Yahoo, so underscore, uh, at the rate gmail.com okay so address so address is nothing uh, but it contains a uh, space in between okay so address is not that kind of field where you give data continuously okay so now uh, if you check this for example if you say so fifth avenue new york okay so this, you say something like this when you're giving the address so now so if you press enter so if you now if you check the data, whatever you have uh, entered, uh, the name exactly what you have assigned the name uh, in the input, uh, which is Srikant, which is get, just got displayed. So email also, whatever you have given, it came. But when you come to the address part here, it has just taken until uh, the blank space, okay? So the remaining things just gets, uh, does not uh, take into account, okay? So the, this is because the scan of, uh, this is the drawback of, uh, uh, scan of statement it is not capable of holding a, 
मोर देन वन स्ट्रिंग ओके वेन सपरेटेड बै स्पेस ओके सो इन आर्डर टू गेट इट ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम यू हेव टू एलिमिनेट द स्कैन ऑफ स्टेटमेंट एंड यूज द गेट्स फंक्शन हियर गेट्स एड्रेस यू से समथिंग लाइक दिस से वन बंद प्रॉब्लम सो ई मेल लेट्स गिव अगेन द स्टूपिड ई मेल हियर यू एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम सो वट एवर यू वॉन्टेड अकाउंट यूर कन्वीनियंस सो एड्रेस जस्ट गॉट स्किप्ड ओके सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम हियर from the program once again it just skipping because uh, so when we studied in the previous chapters while studying about uh, character input we have uh, given this statement okay f plus std the main purpose of this is it trims the it just trims trims the unwanted care unwanted characters okay so which is very essential while you are uh, working with this kind of uh, strings here so again let us give the email id so now we trims the unwanted characters and just asks for for our address here so again let us type the same address 5th avenue new york okay so now with the with the advantage of uh, using the get statement we have exactly uh, so got got the output whatever we have uh, entered okay so whatever whatever we have entered we have exactly got the same output here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to uh, so use uh, various uh, functions uh, for uh, entering the strings uh, inside the uh, program okay so in the same way uh, you have gets you also have a put statement also so the same mm, thing could be achieved using the puts also okay just save and run the program just give some uh, email id so address again let's give the same thing fifth avenue new york okay it has just taken twice okay so if you give some space here so you might get the exact uh, thing okay so okay so using this put statement we have just uh, again output the same address of whatever uh, so we have taken uh, in the variable address variable here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to uh, put uh, various data uh, various uh, grab the data from uh, various ways okay so in the same way so whenever uh, so for example if you have taken uh, an ad another uh, name to variable here which is of 20 something like this okay so if you say if you assign that Uh, name two with uh, name, so this might give you an error here. Okay, so this is not the correct way uh, to do the assignment. Okay, so you cannot assign two uh, strings directly. Okay, but you can do that using uh, uh, the character pointer, which we have seen in the previous lesson here. So if you take something like this, so care, so let us say s name. Okay, so you said that. uh shrikant okay okay yeah. so you have taken if you have taken another variable care uh, p name can character pointer p name here okay so so you are always welcome to uh, do this operation okay since this is an error so you can you can do something like this okay so p name is equal to s name so this will work perfectly for you okay so i'm just giving some uh, dummy data here okay so this will work perfectly so now if you uh, output your or okay, or simply you can say something like this puts uh, p name okay so now just uh, we have taken uh, s name uh, as srikanth and just we have assigned our uh, uh, that s name into a p name here okay 
so I had just outputted the that uh, that variable using the uh, using uh, this puts function here. So now if you just save and run the program, let's give some uh, email ID, dummy email ID, some address. Let's say directly New York here. Let's see now if you observe the ending, uh, you have just got the the value of P name uh, S name, which is now assigned in P name. Okay. So to summarize here. Okay, to summarize uh, whatever we have learned in this uh, program, so the strings, whenever uh, uh, you are taking uh, different types of strings in your program according to your uh, requirement, you can just uh, take the grab the input from in two different ways. One is using the scanf, another one using the gets. Okay, so in the same way you have gets, you also have other function puts to display the output to the standard output here. Okay. So and also you are not allowed to assign uh, two strings directly. Okay. So but even though you can achieve that task using the character pointers. So if you want to assign a string into another, you have to achieve that through the taking a pointer of type character here. Okay. Let's give one more term input here. Okay. So this is the basic stuff about uh, performing the I/O operations on the strings. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.